Hey, it's Linda and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make three easy vegan sweet potato recipes. Each recipe has just four ingredients. They're great if you want to serve up sweet potatoes at your Thanksgiving table or at any meal that you're just wanting to switch it up and kind of try something different, play with those flavor combinations. If you're like me and you get confused as far as whether these are sweet potatoes we're talking about or yams, the grocery store always kind of mixes up the labels, but basically, as long as it's a root vegetable that's orange and looks like an elongated potato, that'll work for these recipes for sure. I will pre-frame this and say that for this video, I made little sampler sizes of these recipes. I bought a three pound bag of sweet potatoes at the store and I used just one pound per recipe, which is not a whole lot. So obviously, if you do wanna serve these for Thanksgiving and you're gonna be feeding a crowd, you'll want to go ahead and adjust and scale up the recipe, but don't worry. I will have the full written recipes linked below in the description so you can click and get that and you can easily adjust it for however many people you're going to be feeding. Before we get into it, make sure you click the subscribe button below and hit that notification bell. I put out new recipe videos every Sunday so you don't want to miss out on that. But for now, let's check out these three easy vegan sweet potato recipes. Let's go! Start by crushing and peeling some garlic. I'm using two cloves of garlic for one pound of sweet potatoes. Chop it finely and set it aside in a large bowl. Pull the leaves off a sprig of rosemary and chop them finely as well. I ended up with about one tablespoon of fresh chopped rosemary, again for one pound of sweet potatoes. Place it in the bowl along with the garlic. Now prepare your sweet potatoes. Trim the ends and any spots that look damaged on the skin. I'm choosing to leave the skins on for these sweet potatoes, but just be sure to wash them well beforehand. Cut your sweet potatoes into similar size wedge shapes. Add some olive oil to the bowl with the garlic and rosemary, then stir it together. Add your sweet potato wedges and coat them evenly in the mixture. Season with salt and black pepper. Mix them well. Transfer the sweet potato wedges to a parchment lined baking sheet. I'm using a toaster oven tray, which is why mine looks so small, but you can do this on a regular size baking sheet and cook a lot more of them in a regular oven. Don't overcrowd the pan. Bake them in a preheated oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 to 30 minutes, flipping them halfway through. And there you go. You've got delicious, aromatic garlic rosemary sweet potato wedges. These are best served fresh from the oven because that's when they'll be the most crispy, but they'll still be good if you prep them in advance. These smell amazing coming out of the oven. It just fills your kitchen with that aromatic garlic herb combination. Perfect around Thanksgiving. For this next recipe, dice your sweet potatoes into approximately half inch cubes. Again, it's up to you whether you want to leave the skin on or peel them, but it's less work not to peel them, so I just left the skins on again. In a large bowl, mix equal parts maple syrup and soy sauce. I used about two tablespoons of each for one pound of sweet potatoes and then add in some sriracha sauce as well for a bit of heat. 
I used about one teaspoon of sriracha. Mix these together and then go ahead and add your diced sweet potatoes and toss them to coat them well in the mixture. Transfer your sweet potato cubes to a parchment lined baking sheet. Space them out evenly. And make sure to reserve the leftover marinade for later. Bake these in the oven for 425 degrees for about 20 minutes and then pour over the reserved marinade and mix them well and bake for another five to 10 minutes to get that nice caramelization going. This is the recipe for you if you are a fan of sweet and spicy combinations or also if you want something that's a little bit more Asian themed, this will fit the bill. For this last recipe, since we are making mashed sweet potatoes, you will want to peel your sweet potatoes for this one. Once you're done peeling, chop your sweet potatoes into roughly the same size pieces. Um, about one inch is fine. Transfer them to a steamer basket and cook them over a pot of boiling water for about 12 to 15 minutes or until they are fork tender. Transfer the cooked sweet potatoes to a large bowl and mash them up. To your mashed sweet potatoes, add some coconut milk. As well as some ground ginger. And again, mash them up. This is so fun and it's a great therapeutic cooking technique, I find. <laughs> Taste your mash and adjust for any additional flavors. You can add more coconut milk if it needs more creaminess. Add some more ground ginger if you need more spice. And I recommend adding a little bit of sea salt as well to just balance out all the flavors and really make it pop. All right, mix that thoroughly. Give it another good taste test for good measure, of course. Now for a special buttery crunchy topping, gently toast some pecans over medium low heat in a non-stick pan, stirring often until they become golden brown around the edges. Now just serve up those creamy, dreamy, exotic coconut ginger mashed sweet potatoes with the toasted pecans on top and send your taste buds to heaven. And voila, three easy vegan sweet potato recipes, each one with just four ingredients, not counting salt and pepper. Comment below which one of these three recipes do you want to try first? Is it the garlic rosemary sweet potato wedges, the roasted maple sriracha sweet potatoes, or the coconut ginger sweet potato mash? Let me know in the comments below. As far as my personal take, I feel like the garlic rosemary wedges are a really good sort of savory slash sweet accompaniment for a more traditional Thanksgiving type of meal. I think the maple sriracha sweet potatoes go really well on top of rice and some steamed veggies and some tofu if you want more of like an Asian type of meal. My personal favorite has to be the coconut ginger sweet potato mash with those toasted pecans on top. It's so creamy. I, I was just like eating it by the spoonful. It's good enough to be a dessert, really. Super creamy. You've got a touch of ginger. Goes really nicely with the mashiness 
of the sweet potato, that mashed texture, and just it's good enough on its own, but even with the toasted pecans on top just takes it to a whole nother level, gives it that nutty contrast. Oh my gosh, I, <laughs> I love it. I need to make more of that. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button below and click the notification bell. I put out new recipe videos every Sunday, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Until next time, have a great week. Savory, traditional type of flavor at a Thanksgiving deal. Blah. Now in a... <coughs> Now serve up your dreamy, creamy, mashiness.